Hi, I'm Trisha from the Wine Club Group, here to talk to you today about WSJ Wine from the Wall Street Journal. All of this that you see here is part of what you get for the $70 from the Wall Street Journal Wine. Now, when you get your first box, you're going to see this huge box here, which is actually really heavy. So this is a consideration if you're sending this as a gift. There are 12 bottles inside this box. In addition, this is how they come packaged. So you can see that this is specially made to ship these 12 bottles of wine so you don't have to worry about anything breaking. Now this box was heavy. Um, I was able to carry it from my front door here into my dining room, but I probably would not have been able to carry it up or downstairs or probably even to my car um, if I was trying to get it home from work. So it's something to think about. If you're sending it to somebody um, and having it delivered for a holiday, you may want to deliver it to them instead of having it delivered to them and then they have to carry it themselves. So let's talk about the wine first of all. 12 bottles inside this box. Um, I chose to get the mixed pack, which is six bottles of red and six bottles of white. You could also choose to get all red or all white. The wines, as you can see here, these are just a sample of them, the other six I've left in the box. A few of them are duplicates. Um, these are wines from all across the world. Now, you probably have not heard of any of these different wines because they are very selective and they're from vineyards that most people haven't heard of and that are not in your regular grocery stores or liquor stores. So, what they send you here is the tasting notes book. And this is pretty normal for wine clubs, but what I like about it is that there's one page in here for every one of the different wines that comes. And you're going to be able to read about the country of origin of the wine and the type of production that they have there. You're going to be able to read about the vineyards and the winery in which the wines are produced. Then on the next page, you're going to have tasting notes that will talk about um, what you think, what you should be tasting in the wine, what you might taste, and also how to pair the wine. And then there's also a place down here where you're able to fill in your own notes so that you can keep this, and then over time you can add to it and be able to go back and see which wines you might want to reorder at later dates for discounted prices. Now, I said that you get all of this. This is called the Discovery Club, and the reason it's called the Discovery Club is because it's its introductory pack. It's $70 plus shipping and handling. You'll have to be careful which state you live in because they can't ship directly to some states, so they'll have to ship to a retailer. Here in Indiana, it cost me $20 for the shipping and handling, and it was sent um, through a specific delivery service. So I got a phone call about 24 hours before the shipment was scheduled to arrive, and it was shipped by a special carrier. So I was not able to track the delivery like I am with a lot of other wine clubs. Now, along with the tasting notes, they include this as one of those introductory special gifts that they say it's worth $49.95 or something. I'm always skeptical when I see gifts like this because I figure there's no way that they're actually worth as much as what they say they are. But in this case, I was pleasantly surprised. This is a connoisseur corkscrew kit. And you can see it comes from a nice wooden box here. And when you open that up, it has the corkscrew in here. Um, it also has the wine pourer, it has a couple of other different accessories, um, the bottle stopper in case you need it, some different things that go with it. I priced these online just to see if it was really worth $49, and surprisingly, I found that it is usually worth around $40, and that's not including shipping and handling. So this is a nice addition, especially if you're giving this club as a gift. But I think that more likely if you're ordering this club, you're ordering it as a gift for yourself instead of for someone else. And this is one of the things that makes it great if you're new to wine tasting. This book, they talk about the history of this particular wine club, how Wall Street Journal even got into the wine club scene, their customer service, but then also as you get further in, what I think is really great for people that are new to wine is that they show you what the different types of grapes are, the different kinds of varietals of the wine, so you can learn more about it. And then they also have some great ideas for when you get your wine, how you should keep it for a couple of days and not open it yet. Um, they talk a little bit about decanting, when you need to do that and when you don't need to do that. So this is great for people who are new to wine that are looking to maximize um, their wine experience. Now, as I said before, the price of this club, this introductory level price, is about $70 plus shipping and handling, which breaks down to $5.84 a bottle before the shipping and handling costs, which really isn't too bad for the wine that you're getting. Now, if you decide to keep this club and not cancel, which you can do without any kind of penalty, if you decide to keep the club, they will ship you another case like this every quarter, and that price goes up to $140 
plus shipping and handling. So it is going up on, you know, to about $13 a bottle once you get into those further cases. But you don't have to accept those if you, if you don't want to. You can always cancel it. Or if this is too much for you for one quarter, you can tell them you'd like to skip a quarter and um, resume it a quarter later. Overall, it might not be the best for a gift. Um, as I said before, you um, it's heavy to ship. They don't send any kind of um, printable gift cards, emailable gift cards, anything like that that would go with it that would indicate that it's a gift. They also don't have any kind of wrapping, gift packaging, anything like that. So it would be the kind of thing that you might want to have delivered to yourself and then give as a gift. But for a personal wine club, um, if you are trying to broaden your palate, if you're trying to learn more about wine, this is really a great club um, to get you started on that. So um, that's my review of the WSJ Wine Club. And if you would like to see more of my reviews, you can visit www.wineclubreviewsandratings.com.